Hello everybody, thank you for watching. Today we are looking at, um, oh there it goes, Hagomen, no, How Haugemen, Haugemen, Haugemen brand spicy noodles. This is self-heating ramen and um, it's good right now because we're living in crazy pandemic times and uh, maybe, maybe these are the end times, maybe this is what we're gonna have to use to survive. But anyway, uh, this is a self-heating ramen. This is nice because you don't need a stove or a microwave or anything else. You don't even need hot water. The everything's in here to already go ahead and make it hot. So let's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up now. Um, I don't read Chinese, so I can't tell you what that says. It looks like some kind of spicy kimchi, maybe beans and noodles. Oh no, corn. That looks like corn. And uh, these two guys on the cover right here, they seem to be enjoying it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in here. And go ahead and get in here and see what happens. Ripping off the cellophane. All right, let's see. All right, getting in here just like this. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description there so you can go ahead and click on it if this does look good to you. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here. I'm gonna take off the label from the bottom, just like this. All right, and this part comes off just like that. All right. Um, let's see here. Okay, there's a little tab I can pull on right here. All right, what do we got? We got a seasoning packet, like a liquid seasoning, looks like uh, oil. Um, we got a powder seasoning. Uh, there's a couple of hard bits in there. I think that must be the corn. Another liquid, another liquid seasoning. There you go, get a nice shot of that. And this one's like a paste, or maybe it's a powder. This one actually, no, it feels like a paste. And then this one comes with chopsticks. That's kind of cool, little chopsticks. And here are the noodles, like a, a freeze-dried container. Ooh, check this out, this is kind of cool. It's a double tub. Ooh, okay, that's fancy. And here is the heat source right here. And uh, what do we got here? Heating bag. Uh, no eating, prohibit wet hands, so don't touch it with wet hands. Keep away from fire, no, no use in the confined space, prohibit hot water. So don't use hot water with this thing. Put cold water on it, or room temperature water, I guess. All right, and here's some uh, instructions. Um, prohibited heat, no use of hot water, be away from fire. That's, uh, there's some good instructions for this thing, good instructions for life. All right, let's see here. So. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open up this guy first, and uh, let me see if it's, uh, if you do need tools to open this. Uh, oh yeah, no, no, there's a cutaway right there. So you can start off right here. A little notch right there. Give it one of these. Okay, when you open this up, this bag fills with air so the noodles become more loose. All right, so we're pulling this guy out. Ooh, right in the bottom, boom. All right, there's that. Let's get, uh, I'm just going in here with these packets here. What do we got? This one is no cutaway. Do I? Oh, no, no, here it is. There's a cutaway right there. So, la, 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 shake it, shake it. La, 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 Get on. All right, there it goes. Get it all to one side there. All right. And we're going to pull this guy right here just to open it up. What's this one? This one is a, ooh, okay. So, this is like, it looks like the veggie, the veggies maybe. So, I'm going to put this out right here. All right, here. Oh yeah, yeah, no, this uh, kind of smells like kimchi, actually. Let's see here, so we're gonna get all this stuff out. All right, I'm gonna give it a little smell to see. Okay, it smells very like pickly. It smells like pickles. All right. And let's see, next item is this guy right here. Um, all right, let's see, I think there's a cutaway right there. So I'm gonna pull on this guy. Oh yeah, 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 oh boy. Oh, I did not open that nicely. That was not very elegant. All right. Anyway, that's the sauce. There's a wet portion of the sauce. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, got it all over my fingers. Um, this one is a dry ingredients bag. Uh, is there a cutaway? Where's the cutaway? Right here. I'm gonna shake it a little bit like this. Go in here like this. There it goes. And ha cha 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 cha. Okay, so there's the dry seasoning. All right, and here is the wet seasoning. 
And now, uh, once again, all the instructions are in Chinese, but I can't imagine it's any more complicated than throw all this stuff in there and add the water. Um, let's see, does this have a cutaway? Maybe one of these guys right here. Ay, ay, ay. Oh yeah, there it goes. All right, and pull, 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 and squeeze and squirt. Squeeze and squirt. That's the technique. Ooh, I did not, okay, let's see. Squeeze and squirt, get it all in there. Get it all in there. Now, uh, I need to open this up a little more because the contents of this bag, some of it are solid particles. So I'm gonna try to get all the, all that seasoning out there, all the good bits. All right. All right. Oh, no. All right. That's it. I'm just going in here. I'm just going in here. If you're watching at home, don't do it. Don't do what I'm doing. Unless you want to. I can't tell you what to do. All right. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to get in there with my finger to make sure I get all that gooey goodness into the out of the seasoning bag. I want to give this thing a fair chance. You know, I don't want the manufacturer to say, oh, you didn't like it because you didn't get all the seasoning out there. So I'm going to get all the little bits of seasoning. All right. There it goes. All right, all right, get it all out, there you go. And I think that's it, okay, so we're done with getting all the ingredients on there, and uh, um, okay, there's the chopsticks. All right, so the next bit is gonna be to add the water. Now I'm gonna clean off my hands real quick by sucking my fingers. Mmm, 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 yummy. Okay, I can tell you that last one was kind of a spicy oil sauce. That was delicious. All right, let me go wash my hands, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Um, we're ready to move on to the next phase here. Just for fun, I wanna see if this can cook an egg. This might change the flavor a little bit. I think it might be interesting. We're gonna throw an egg in there and see if it cooks all the way. All right, so item number one. Oh, here it goes. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna pull out this guy. A nice, there's, they got little finger grooves in here so you can pull out the whole thing like this. All right. Here comes the heating packet. All right, there it goes. All right, I'm gonna put this guy right here. And here comes the magic. That looks like about the right amount. Okay, that's gonna start getting hot, right? Well, let me see. It says, the instructions say, absolutely do not add water. JK, all right, what does it say? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to throw a little water on there, right? Is this thing gonna start getting hot? It's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna start happening. Oh yeah, oh crap, oh mama. Okay, 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 there it goes. There it goes. Yowzers. Okay, that thing was not messing around. Whoo! That was actually kind of a close call. As soon as I touched it, that thing got super hot. Oh, I gotta add my water to this part. All right, and there's a fill line right there. I'm assuming what that groove is. That, uh, that there's a oh, this thing is actually super hot. Wow, that was kind of cool. I'm gonna throw in just a little bit more water. All right. Whoa, that was kind of cool. So as I touched it with my fingers, that thing got super hot. All right, I'm gonna start the timer, and um, I won't make you guys watch the whole thing. So maybe uh, we'll fast forward the video. But while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up these chopsticks so you can see what this looks like. Oh yeah, yeah, there it goes. Uh -huh. Oh, these are little baby chopsticks. Look at this, I can barely hold them. All baby chopsticks in my hands. Now I'm kind of uh, guessing as far as the proper amount of water to add. Um, I just poured water until things look like they were where they were supposed to be. I had to kind of use a little intuition on that. I'm hoping that was enough water that I added to the heat source. I don't want that thing to dry out. Uh, yeah, this thing is pretty piping hot right now. In fact, uh, you can't even touch it right now, it's too hot. Oh, you can see the steam coming out of the little hole. Oh, it says right here, 120 degrees Celsius. It smells good. It smells like, um, like a delicious spicy ramen. Looks like the steam is starting to stop. Starting to stop. Is that a weird way to say that? I'm gonna clean up a little bit while we're waiting. This is a level of mess that came out of that thing. A lot of packaging. All right, the steam has completely died down now, so that tells me uh, we're past the peak of how hot it's gonna get. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get in here. It's been about 11 minutes, but uh, it's a pretty warm day, so I think it might have it might be ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this guy open. Oh, this thing is super hot, super hot. I'm gonna try not to burn myself. The steam escapes. Wow, this thing is like surprisingly hot. There it goes. Oh, baby, look at that. All right, I'm getting in here with the, these little baby chopsticks that they provided. Oh yeah. Move it around, kind of separate these noodles, kind of help the process. You can see our egg in the corner here. Let's see what happened with our egg. It's kind of right here. Ooh, the egg sunk down to the bottom and might have fully cooked against the bottom of this container. The yolk did not break, it doesn't look like. So we have an intact yolk, but it looks kind of soft boiled still. Let's see. There it is. All right, so there it is. So there's our egg right there. I'll try to see if I can move it back this way. Oh, no, take that back. The yolk did break. Okay, which is good though. It's kind of a nice soft boil. Oh yeah, yeah, this chopsticks are kind of hard to use because they're so small. You gotta get, if I hold these with enough leverage to use them properly, you gotta get really up close to the business. But in a container this size, you can't really put in long chopsticks. Although I've seen other packages where they put in two part collapsible chopsticks. Oh, uh, I should tell you this particular ramen, this one costs like $8. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to take this first bite with uh, the supplied chopsticks here just to be able to get the full experience of what you get in here. And it might be super hot. I'm going to take a little bite just so I don't completely burn myself. All right, here it goes. Looks, these look like uh, glass noodles. Okay, that's pretty darn good. Um, it kind of tastes like a, a hot and sour soup. It has like a sour flavor to it, kind of like uh, from the pickled vegetables probably, but uh, this is actually pretty good. Okay, nuts to these chopsticks. I tried it once. I'm going to get in there with some real chopsticks. Give me a sec. All right, I'm back with some grown-up chopsticks. And take another bite here. All right, here it goes. Big bite. Excuse me, a little spicy. Um, it's not completely like glass noodles. Uh, it has a like has a nice chew to it, and uh, it's not overdone. And uh, it has a nice flavor, kind of a salty sour flavor. And this would definitely feel good on a cold day. And uh, I think if you have one bite of it, you pretty much tasted the whole thing because uh, there's not there's not like big chunks of vegetables or meats or anything like that. There's the pickled stuff here. I'm gonna get a bite of the pickled stuff so I can get a real feel for everything that's in this bowl. All right, here's a very pickly bite right here. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I'll tell you, the heat pack in here, it's still hot. And uh, the nice thing about that is this is gonna keep your whole meal hot the entire time that you're eating it. All right, let me try some of this egg. Now this egg, once again, it's not a part of the regular mix. We threw this in as a bonus just to see if it'll cook. It came out all right. Actually, it came out kind of perfect because it has that soft boiled consistency. This is kind of what you want. This is, you don't want your egg to be overdone and dry. Mmm. That's actually perfect because you don't want it to be overdone. It's soft boiled so it still absorbs all the flavor from the broth but yeah um this is pretty good i'm gonna take one more bite here you don't need to see me eat this whole thing because um like i say there's not a lot of uh, variation here this is just big one big bowl of the same thing okay yeah so uh, if i could try to just okay so if i could try to describe the flavor it's kind of a uh, salty and sour and um it kind of tastes like a kimchi kind of flavor to it and uh, it is, it is pretty good. I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. It's like a hot, it's like a spicy, sour, glass noodle kind of soup. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please 
leave a comment and subscribe and we'll have more content for you soon. Thank you.